So Ben, everyone wants to know the burning question, why did you pick Yola? Uh, there's a lot of reasons to that. So first of all, I'm familiar with Yola just through table tennis. I grew up playing table tennis. So uh, when I got into pickleball, I was very interested because uh, it was the first table tennis company to get into pickleball. And I think that's a big step forward because uh, the sport just keeps expanding in a lot of ways. Um, I think they bring a lot of interesting views just from like table tennis paddle production uh, to pickleball, I think should be very interesting. Uh, and actually they're, they're based near where I grew up. So Rockville, Maryland, Gaithersburg, Maryland, they're basically right next to each other. So kind of when I met the guys, I was like, that's, that's actually crazy that you're right next to me, backyard basically. Uh, and obviously like everyone's very nice. Um, and I really just kind of like their, their vision for the sport. Um, and particularly one thing I think that's overlooked is it's pickleball is huge in the US right now, but I really think it has a ton of room to expand in Asia as well. And I know they already have a, a very big presence in Asia and Europe and all that with table tennis. So I don't see why it can't expand like it has uh, in the US also there. And they would be the perfect ones to do that with. So I think there's a lot of good reasons to, to choose them and I'm glad I did. So Ben, I know you grew up playing table tennis in Maryland, such a small world. Um, but how do you feel like table tennis has helped you in your game in pickleball? Sure, yeah, I mean, there's definitely actual physical crossover, just like some shots people might know that I hit in pickleball, like a backhand roll. It's much like a backhand drive in, uh, in table tennis, which I hit a lot growing up. Um, and I think it's just really cool because there's a, a ton of crossover, like more than people think, uh, even how the game was started, really. So it started in, in Washington in 1965. They used like a, a badminton or a ball, and they used a volleyball net, a badminton sized court, uh, ping pong paddles, and like a wiffle ball, They're, like a bunch of different sports. So it's like everything. the leftovers yeah. of a bunch of sports and kind of put it together. And I think we've seen some things come together. We see tennis players crossing over, we see volleyball players crossing over, and there's a lot of parallels from a lot of sports. And uh, table tennis is just one of the latest. Uh, um, you know, companies and sports to cross over into pickleball as well. So it's really interesting to me how pickleball has been made up of other sports. And I think it has a lot, the best attributes of a lot of them. Yeah, you guys took the best of all <laughs> worlds, not just yeah. both worlds, all yeah, worlds. Yeah, that's the idea. Well, I hope it keeps trending that way. So I'm just excited to see more sports getting involved, basically. So tell us more about your backhand. I hear you have a really <laughs> killer backhand. I don't know where that came from. Yeah, sure. Table tennis or? <laughs> yeah, no. Um, People know it in pickleball as a backhand roll, and we know it as more of a backhand drive. Um, and the reason that happened is growing up, I basically had a, a bookcase on the left side of our table in our basement. And usually in table tennis, you'd run around your backhand, hit like a forehand loop. And I couldn't because it was in the way. <laughs> so I ended up just hitting a lot of backhands from every possible uh, part of the court uh, to every part of the court. And that really has helped me in pickleball as well. And I can already see it playing with you. I'm just like, she has the same kind of backhand drive, uh, backhand loop. So I'd, I'd be excited to see how well that can develop. Maybe we can turn that into something truly special in pickleball. <laughs> Here's the hoping she retires everybody and comes to pickleball. Mixed doubles question mark? <laughs> I mean, I'm willing. I don't know if you are. But <laughs> I'll stand behind you, just take the full The good thing about pickleball is there's no alternating in the doubles. So I know you guys have to alternate, so it's it's hard to uh, to cover, but you know, if I need to cover for you, I can. Or if you can cover for me, even better. Yeah, I think it's the other way around. <laughs> Definitely me. <laughs> to be, de to be determined, everybody. <laughs>